How's it guys, Wadini here, your local brand ambassador for Rode here in South Africa. And today we're gonna to be looking at the Rode NT USB Plus, which is sticking its head out over here. And that is the successor for the Rode NT USB. Now, the first thing that I want to note before we dive too deep into the content here is that I've seen, and yes, I've got a little bit more of an inside track, but Rode is becoming a lot more versatile with regards to its software. And this is for old and new devices. So I encourage you to take devices old and new and actually interface them with the software that you can find on your PCs to see what it actually can do. And this will be noted in the video. But let's look at what this device is. It's a multi-function USB microphone, meaning that it can be used for so many different things. And because it's such a high quality mic, we can use it for things like streaming, we can use it for voiceovers, we can use it for podcasting, or just any general use when it comes to what we need microphones for. Next, who is it for? Well, it's for anybody that has the need to combine a PC and Mac with a microphone and needs something that is a high quality audio capture. Now this can be used for things like online teaching or anything where you need a high quality audio capture device to be able to project your voice in clarity. Next, let's go to the unboxing and design. Now in the unboxing, the first thing that you'll get out of the box will be the NT USB Plus. You will get a tripod, you will get a ring mount, you'll get a pop filter, and you will get a USB-C SC29, which is a USB-C to USB-C. Now we can see that the design is pretty similar to the old NT USB Plus. We just have a difference in the way that it's mounted at the bottom. Its weight comes in at 450 grams, but with all the accessories is about 730 grams. It stands at 184 centimeters tall, and its width is 62, while its depth is 50 centimeters. The same as the old NT USB, but now on the plus we've got the same in that we have got the headphone jack connection. We do have the ability to monitor or to adjust the headset volume as well as the ability to set how much we are monitoring our voice volume. On to the specs and features and benefits of this microphone. So the acoustic principle is the same as the old NT, which is a pressure gradient, as well as the polar pattern being cardioid. Frequency range is the same at 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. The dynamic range is a bit different, this being 97 decibels. Our output connection is a 3.5 mil headphone, but another difference is that this is now USB-C connectivity rather than USB. Its power requirements is 5 volts, so pretty much your USB pass power that you get out of a PC or Mac. But one of the differences here is bit depth in that this is 24 bits versus the NT or old NT was 16 bits. We do have a sample rate of 48 kilohertz. The minimum operating system requirements is we need Mac at 10.14, Windows 10, iOS 14 for the Apple phone users or Android 11, so noting that this can be used on either iOS or Android. The NT USB Plus is also quite versatile in that you can use it on a desktop, you can use it on a laptop, cell phone, as well as a tablet, and you will be able to use the different softwares like Rode Reporter for mobile or Rode Connect on PC. Next, we're gonna be jumping into the software tutorial for any first-time users. To get started, go to the browser of your choice and type in NT USB Plus. This doesn't matter if you're on Mac or on PC. Go to the official landing page for NT USB Plus and you will see all the features and benefits of the microphone. There's going to be specific focus now on three softwares being Rode Central, Rode Connect, as well as Rode Reporter. Now you can download both Rode Central and Rode Connect for PC and Mac, as well as download Rode Reporter for your cell phone or tablet. But note that it is going to be a lot easier just to install the Rode Connect and not the Rode Central for your PC or Mac because Rode Connect does have the same functionality as Rode Central, but I'll show you this in a bit. Now here is where you want to download Rode Central for your desktop. You'll click on download now and make sure that you select either the Mac version or the Windows version depending on the device. It's going to be the same for Road Connect. You can go to Downloads and then also make sure that you're selecting either Windows or Mac depending on the device that you have. Now, when you install Road Central, you'll be able to see here is the NT-USB Plus. You'll click on there and then you'll have the input level, the high pass filter, 
the noise gate compressor oral exciter and big bottom now the reason that i said that the two are the same is if you look over here and over here you'll be able to see on the nt usb plus you can adjust the noise gate compressor oral exciter and big bottom and there is your high pass filter the exact same three levels that you can so it is best just to have the one software however they do not conflict with each other now for first time users do make sure that when you are on the app go into the gain settings now what you want to do is down the gain until your normal speaking voice is pretty much in the middle of this bar over here once you get to that point, you'll know that you're not speaking too loud and you're also not getting too much ambient noises coming through in the background. You can also enact the noise gate, which will suppress background noises too. Now from this interface, you will see your system, your NT-USB mini, and you can add virtual as well. These are the maximum that you have as well as having the different sounds. So you can actually use this mic for streaming and I'll show you because I am using it inside of SLOBS and it works the same pretty much as the software that you get, which is Unify, the new Rodex gaming products. But you'll see here on the properties, we do have the stream input Rode Connect. And what you wanna make sure is that when you go to your control panel and on your hardware and sound, sound this will be done for you automatically but it's always good just to check and you'll see the system output default device is road connect and the default communications device same thing and in recording again same thing now i can use this for streaming and you can see that the bars are married and if i do an air horn that will also be going through to the stream there are other functionalities with inside Road Connect software and one of the most important is the ability to record. Now record obviously allows you to make a podcast and then record those podcasts and upload them. And the really good thing about this is you are able to control all your different inputs with this recording software. So what you're hearing in your headset when you are monitoring your own voice will be output to your podcast. Something else that you can do is the ability to import your own sounds. So what you can do is go to the sound effects table, go to the second tab. On that plus button, you can push plus and then push plus again. And any pre-recorded sounds that you may have, you can import directly into your sound table. There's also other things that you can do like the bleeper or trash talk, and they will sound something like this. And that's a wrap of the NT USB Plus from a software perspective. So you can see that it is quite versatile in Windows or Mac, as well as being able to incorporate it into broadcasting software or use it for a podcast or recording. Guys, that is a wrap on the NT USB Plus. If I had to summarize it in a sentence, it's a microphone for home use that has a studio quality. So for anybody that needs the ease of a USB interface and doesn't want to have any XLR connections and just wants a simple plug and play option, this is perfect for you. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions or more specific and technical questions that I don't like getting to on these videos because sometimes some people require a little bit more in-depth information that may make the video a little bit too long so if you do have any of those questions please feel free to reach out to me in the video below in the comment section or on social media guys i hope you enjoyed it yet again have a fantastic time wherever you are cheers and goodbye woodini here Bloop. Bup, bup, bup. oh i didn't push record again so we're gonna have to use b-roll idiot